Welcome to this video. In this video, I would like to show and explain to you how you can use the password store management system KeePass to manage your passwords and your connections to different SAP systems or with different SAP users or the credentials and you don't have to remember by heart the passwords or the credentials. So normally what is the procedure to log into your SAP system? You um, double click on the SAP logon, then you enter within here the credentials, so the username, the password. Maybe if you want to, you can change the client, the logon language and then and hit the enter key and then you are logged in. Um, of course, you can also work with uh, SAP GUI shortcuts. I've made an own video. I will link to fasten up the speed that you just have to enter your password. Or I have also made a video that you can use a batch file to uh, fasten up the speed so that you can directly log into the SAP system. But as I've mentioned in the video about the batch file, there you um, enter your password to um, directly in clear text so not with a hash or something like that and yeah there you have a lot of risks and now you have the possibility to use key pass um, to store all of your connections your users and you can directly log into the SAP system without knowing the password by heart and how can this be done? So first of all, the most important step is that you download KeePass. KeePass is um, free. You don't have to pay anything. You just have to go to the um, link keepassinfo slash download.html. I will also put the link in the video description. And here you can specify whether you would like to download the exe file or the portable file, what you like to, and then you install it. It's really easy i think i don't have to show it to you and once you have downloaded it then uh, you have to open up key pass and then first of all you have to click on file and then new and uh, once you've clicked this then you will get this pop-up that you will create first of all a new database and um, you can um, as mentioned within here um, read this description kind of carefully but what is important is that you have to remember the um, location of the database and the master password we will create in a couple of seconds so here we click on ok and then you have to basically yeah, choose one uh, location where you would like to save this in my case i just would like to um, save this on documents doesn't matter what you like to then i if you want to, you can also specify an own file name in my case just database that's perfectly fine then you click on save and here it's important that you enter a master password and what is basically a master password once you've opened up key pass or your key pass file you will be asked every time to enter your master password so this is kind of like a protection to um, to access the um, password file and here you have to enter one master password you have to remember and um, also oh, in my case a really simple password password and um, that is of course weak i know this um, you can also if you want to um, choose the export options yeah you um, have more advanced options for me it's perfectly fine then i click on ok i know the password is weak <laughs> you don't have to use a you shouldn't use a weak password uh, it should be uh, kind of like complex but i then yeah i'm sure and then i click on yes within here you have to enter basically your database name um if you're using the file just for your sap accesses then you can for example enter sap uh passwords what you like to you can enter also in general passwords just a name you can enter a small database description what is this about uh, you can um, enter more advanced options and um, yeah what you like to but here it's perfectly fine that you just enter the database name then you click on ok here um, you have the option to create an emergency sheet so where basically the important information are um, printed um, 
or um, can be read afterwards um, yeah if you want to i skip this but if you want to um, it's also perfectly fine and you click on print if you want to do this i click on skip i don't need this and then first of all you enter in here so basically here now you have created your uh, database file uh, on the asterisk in the title bar you can see that the file has not been saved so with control s you can do this right now i do this control s now the database file is saved and is ready to be used and what you have to um, remember basically um you have different folders so first of all we have our database folder and there we have different folders so we have a general folder windows network internet email home banking and so on and um, if you want to rearrange it that's perfectly fine just with a drag and drop um, you can do this uh, there you have um, the possibility to rearrange this um, if you've selected one order and click here on the um, on the open you can also open this you can here um, create a new file you can add entry so here that you can add an entry you can change the icon to what you would like to do and that is how it's basically work and once you've uh, opened up and folder then on the right hand side you can see the entries and if you um, highlight if you click on this then you can see basically the most important information but with double click you can open up the entry and see um, those detailed information and within here you can also make change afterwards so there you have a lot of um, yeah advantages um, here with this kind of like useful function with the repeat you can generate a strong a complex password that is useful if you would like to basically create or change your sap password um, this is uh, important so you can just click on the open password generator and then within here you can um, change or create a password you can change uh, what is basically the character set and so on so there are a lot of functionalities um, yeah you can you can use kind of like useful so and what we need for us because we i don't want to save it it's perfectly fine so within here i would like to uh, create with right click a new uh, group so i add a group and for example just sap hit the enter key now i have created my sap folder and within here i would like to create a new entry for my access to the other platform trial 1909 so as i've shown you to this entry i've made an own video how you can set this up if you would like to get to know more information about this so and what now comes the important part how we can create the entry uh, within uh, keypass to basically store our credentials so the username the client the language and the password and this can be done first of all you have to click on add entry after you have selected your folder that you would like to create your entry to you can rearrange it afterwards it's also perfectly fine but we click on add entry so and the title is just important because once you um, click on the folder then you directly see what the title of the entry is and in our case i just would like to enter abab platform trial 1009 with the username i enter the sap asterisk user or you can also use developer doesn't matter so and then under password here we can see a generated password but i would like to enter the default password of this sap user so it's this one and i can also hide this uh, once again that's also perfectly fine and now what is really important is the url so within the url you are basically entering the batch command so the command so the command within your shell and um, i've made an own video about this as mentioned and here we enter first of all cmd double dot slash slash and then sap shcut so this is basically the program that is being executed to access the sap logon to set up your connection 
Then, first of all, we enter the system. So in my case, it's A4H. Then client, it's 001. Then once again, language equals to en then user and now what is important i would like to enter a parameter and so with this parentheses and then i enter username and i'm doing almost exactly the same for the password so enter also the parameter password so once again we first of all cmd double dub dot slash slash sap s h c u t then system then client language then username and password and now what it's take it's taken the entered username and your entered sap password so you don't you could you can also if you want to enter it within the url but um, within here you can save your passwords also hide it and then within here you have it also in clear text so and now what you have to do is you click on ok after that i recommend to use uh, Control s to save it or you can also click on the save button that's also perfectly fine and now what you have to do to log into your sap system so you right click you click url and then you open then basically the command is being executed and you are logged into your sap system so um, if you want to as mentioned you can also use the um, shortcut uh, control u to open it so if as you want to and that's perfectly fine by the way if you are not sure for example ah, what is the system id what is the client um, you can really easily find this out once you click within your sap login to your connection because within here you can see your client um, and within uh, right click and then properties you will see on the system id also the system id that you have to use within the url within key pass and yeah that's basically really easy and quick tip to basically improve your password storage and basically you don't have to um, repeat all your passwords to use more secure secure passwords and have better sap security in general you have a lot of functionalities about keepers if you have any questions about keepers um, in general um, please put them in the comment sections um, please like this video please subscribe to this youtube channel to never miss great upcoming videos thank you so much and then see you in the next video